Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Alex. I'm outside Stamford Bridge with Matt Dav. What's happening, Bro, brother? good to see you, my friend. 4-4 against Man City. Um, before we do start, I just want to say, well done, mate. Poppy, Chelsea Poppy. Um, right. Always representing. Like They're the people who made this country what it is now, so I'm going to pay him respects to him. So. That's good, man. And, and Chelsea way. Absolutely. And do you know what, mate? I have to say... I was, I was speaking to Tony SW6 earlier, and he got it spot on. Both fans before the game were actually classed. I didn't hear a yeah, noise. Yeah, no, mate, not a noise, mate. Like, but like I said, fallen soldiers. Like, they've saved our country and from two wars. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, a lot has gone down. A lot of people have died for this country. So, it's really important that that we remember them. Do you know what I mean? Because we are only here today because of them from yesterday. So. And this is the day, and yesterday was the day to pay respects to that. So anyone who didn't, I'm just a bit, bit disrespectful. But because remember, this is England, but you know, is what it is. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone to themselves. But I just think it's really important that everyone remembers this day, and 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 everyone normally normally does. So, but it is what it is. What it is. Yeah, man. I mean, let's move on to the game because yeah. there's a lot of positives. But hey, how the hell did Chelsea beat a 12-man City, mate? Everyone. Mate, the big teams are, they don't, we are competing with all the big teams, mate. Liverpool struggled with us. Liverpool always struggle against us. City today got very, very lucky. One deflected goal and a penalty that shouldn't have been six of one and half a dozen of the other, mate. I'm telling you now, that was never a penalty, mate. Do you know what I mean? Push and pull, do you know what I mean? They both had a little tug at each other and he gives them a penalty. And then there was a handball outside the box, not given, mate. Do you know what I mean? Taylor had an absolute aw awful game again. Like, I'm up, I'm with Jose Mourinho. If I see him in a car park as well, mate, I'm squaring up to that cunt as well, mate. mate. Fuck Taylor. He's terrible. He's I don't get it. He's, he's not even a bad Premier League referee. He's not worthy of being a championship mate, referee because even when he got demoted, he was crap. Mate, he fucked up the championship game and as far as I could turn it, he took two points from us today. But... I, I ain't going to criticise nothing because we today were absolutely heroic. The first 15 minutes, we didn't take a step wrong, mate. It's, everything was absolute perfect and sweet flowing. Jackson got the fucking stony badge in, mate. I'm telling you now, Chelsea got the badge in and fucking Jackson got the badge in. Passion outside the box, sticking it all over him, letting him know his boss, mate. Like Jackson with another goal. Mate... Is Michael Jackson back from the dead or something? Because he is getting bare goals, mate. Bare goals, mate. Jackson is the absolute bollocks, bruv. What's that? What's that? Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mate, Jackson's the absolute, like, like I, I only can, from our strikers, we want goals. And if he's scoring goals, I ain't going to mug him off. Do you know what I mean? You can say last week, oh, he should have got seven. But he got a hat trick and everyone said he couldn't do Mate, it. So I don't get it. People were going, I was I was doing a preview with Kev. You know Kev from the Blue Balls yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. And Kev was going, if Haaland played against Tottenham, he would have scored eight because no, he had Haaland eight chances. Does, no, but ha there is games where Haaland does miss like four big opportunities. And like he never gets done. As long as he gets a hat trick, he's like, yeah, he's got the hat trick. Do you mean Haaland, this, Haaland, that's. But then Jackson, everyone's more than happy to slag him off. Easy. I'm, I'm four... Jackson at the moment, he is our striker at the moment and until Nkuku comes back because realistically that's the position that's up for grabs in the moment because I can't see Gallagher coming up Gallagher is absolutely unreal, his link up with Palmer is near to insane and when Sterling plays well and wants to jump in with Gallagher and Palmer mate, they are literally so good together mate we were so good going forward we were good defending like, do you mean that we, we conceded two goals, like realistically, two goals that they were from us? We fell asleep yeah. from that header, and. And then they scored a cracking goal on the counter yeah, as well. Do you know what I mean? So, like, realistically, they got two goals that, that thing. Them other two goals, like, you know, a bit of luck on their side. You know, like I said, you need luck to win games, and luck today got them a draw, and, and a bit of down luck on us. But I don't. The team played so fucking good, mate. I'm so fucking happy for them, man. Like, and we're going to be going into Newcastle now. It's just lost against Bournemouth. We can press teams, mate. We are sticking it on teams, teams' mums, mate. Honestly, the mums, dads, brothers, sisters, they don't care, mate. We are sticking it on everyone, mate. Like, I'm, I've, never been, I've never been so happy to watch that game today and watch how well we played. Like, and Thiago Silva, mate, how... 
he's proving why he's still staying. It, it, do you know what I mean? It's, it's hard to... Like, I know everyone's been like, oh, what's going to happen with him next season? But he has been so good this season so far. Like, and start last season, he was mustered as well. Like, who did you get rid of him in two? Like, he's just mustered, mate. And then and then people go, well, why is Colwell not in the squad? Why is Baddy Shield not playing? You can't drop Silver, and De has got a great partnership with him. Because, like... It's one of the ones where we, we are so, we've got such a solid defence and you can't really drop anyone at the moment. So, like, everyone has a rightful place in that team and it's just about, like, who you got up against and who you and who Poch wants to choose. But you could have put Cole on today, you would have been happy. You could have put Baddy Oshir on. Pretty good question because, obviously, the injuries that he's just came back from. Yeah. But you'd be happy to see him on the pitch, do you know what I mean? 100%. The loudest chant of the whole evening for me was the silver chant. Yeah, mate, Well, because right. everyone loves him and everyone loves Bella Silva as well, do you know really? what I mean? I'd, I'd, I'd have loved to have been sitting next to her when Thiago Silva knocked that in, do you know what I mean? And as well, Cole Palmer and Sterling both scoring against the old clubs tonight. Hold that city, bruv, like... Hold that man, fucking straight up, like, and as well, City fans normally knock um, Sterling as well. I know they like him and that, but they do normally knock, saying, "Oh, he ain't good enough." Like, like he's not as clinical. You need so many chances a game. He didn't need that many today, though, did he? He he was absolute cracking today. Yeah, man, and it's just taking the chances. I mean, we took four, and City took two, two and a half. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's but, just so deflating in that sense. But I mean, who, who's your man of the match, mate? Because for me. It's Kukurea, my friend. Kukurea. That guy, man. Do you know how much the criticism this guy got last season? Honestly, it was inhumane at times. He eats paella, he drinks the Strella, his head is fucking massive. Kukurea is absolutely the bollocks, mate. And I'm so happy United bottled something else again, mate, and didn't get that fucking player when they could have got him after one bad performance against Wimbledon. Like, and we're all ready to write him off, and I'm so happy he's with us now because I don't want him to see him gone, and I think he's rightfully earned that place as left back, and I think Chilwell's going to struggle getting back into that spot. Yeah, it's going to be interesting at right back, though, because for me, Gusto and James, I like the rotation. I think it's a good thing, it especially good. with the injury problems we've had. It is good, it is good, because it's just as good as each, like, well, no, I'd still say James yeah, is better. Just a little bit. But yeah, but, like, Gusto does all, like, he's doing the job, do you know what I mean? He's, like, I think Gusto's, I'm so happy with our right, with our right back selection. Yeah, he should have scored today, though, man. Yeah, no. If, yeah. Remember that shot? He took it on his left foot. He had way more time. I know, but then again, like you said, we'd have scored another one afterwards. You know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. wouldn't get the goals. Like it's easy to say it now, but he was good. All right, he fucked up a shot, but we haven't got him there to bang in goals every week. We got him there to defend our defend our right hand side. Yeah. What about Sanchez? He made a Man, cracking save at one point. This is what I mean. I don't like slagging off Sanchez too much because, like, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I know he fucked up against Arsenal, but like he has got good moments. Aston Villa, he we, we would have got battered if it wasn't for him. Bournemouth, we probably would have lost that if it wasn't for Sanchez. Like, like he has had some really, really good games, and today he made some really key save. That that save from Haaland, mate. I, I, I thought it was in. I thought it was in. Like and. And the vibe, everyone in the bridge today as well, fair fucking play. Everyone was proper having it as well. I don't know what it was like in the shed side, but down Matthew Yard and Lower, everyone was proper having it, mate. And I'm proud as fuck to be a Chelsea fan tonight. And I think anyone who watched that game of football today will be able to respect and say, oh yeah, big yourself up, Domino's, yeah? It's coming out of this. Oh, we've sold this many fucking pizzas until think, mate. If it was pizza, you would have sold more anyway. So go fuck yourself, Domino's. Oh, until we fucking Chelsea scored. Since you've done that, yeah, we have been banging in goals and goals and goals and goals. We're back. Our, our front three has got more goals than Arsenal's, and on Arsenal's, Arsenal's front three would be the best in the league, aren't they? What's happening with that? I'm smelling more of a Jackson coming vibe, like Jackson over Jesus. Yeah, I think so, mate. I've never seen Jesus walk and water, but I've seen fucking Jackson put a hat trick against Spurs at White Hart Lane. Do you know what I mean? I believe with my eyes, mate, and I am seeing beautiful things from Chelsea. And and as well, dismantling Tottenham, them losing against Wolves. Hey, that was a big, big fuck you to fucking Spurs for giving it, mate. Should we sing it? Should we sing it? What? It's happened again. It's happened again. Tottenham Hotspur. It's happened again. Divos. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mate. Pleasure, my friend. You have a good one, bro. Oh, actually, what am I talking about? I'm coming yeah, with you. For a beer, sir. Come on up the chills.